Reindeer husbandry is the ownership and control of domestic or semi-wild reindeer and their use for living purposes such as meat and skins. It is usually practiced as an area-based activity over large areas, but can also be carried out within enclosures. Reindeer husbandry has been practiced for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years in Eurasia and has more recently been introduced to North America and Greenland. In Sweden, reindeer herding is the tradition of the Sami people, the native people of parts of the northern Nordic countries. Reindeer eat mosses, herbs, ferns, grasses and the shoots and leaves of shrubs and trees, especially willow and birch. In wintertime they do it with lichen, which is also called reindeer moss, and fungi. Depending on the harshness of the winter, it's more or less difficult for the reindeers to find the food under the snow. The Sami people are organized in Sami Bus. It is a financial and administrative union that is regulated by law. Jonajok is located about 120 km north of the Arctic Circle between Kiruna and Jelivare. It doesn't have road access and is right in the middle of a reindeer herding area. The people of the Same Bugirias and Baste are keeping their animals here big parts of the year. This is a traditional Sami housing called Gota. They lived a nomadic life and moved further with their reindeers from one place to the other. Living a nomadic life in such huts is nowadays a rarity. The building materials usually used were hides, blankets, wood, timber, bark, turf and grass. The conical shape of these Gotas has been used for thousands of years by various nomadic people around the Arctic Circle. What they have in common is a circular floor plan with a heart in the middle, a smoke opening in the roof, an entrance facing east and a central place opposite the entrance.
The Sami and Swedish people in Swedish Lapland are living very close together. Double cultural families are not uncommon. Still, the two cultures do not seldom represent two different interests. In particular in Swedish mountain areas, as traditional reindeer husbandry land, these regions become more and more popular for recreation and tourism. Only with great respect and appreciation for each other we have a chance to bridge this gap. The question of how to solve intercultural conflicts is one of the most difficult and challenging ones all over the world.